Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is going to be an interesting short little video about something that you probably didn't imagine I would cover on this channel because it is something that we see every single day and yet people really don't either understand how they work or they don't put too much thought into it. And it's a simple little product that can save your life. So today, let's talk about sprinklers. And I'm here in my hotel room and there are sprinklers throughout this room and it's kind of unusual because you know why would they have those let's go ahead and take a look and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so here in my room there is a pipe which is clearly an afterthought which was added to this hotel room and there are a couple different sprinkler heads and these ones here you can see they're not the cleanest thing in the world and usually they're not but sprinklers are a very special design see sprinklers are used in commercial properties much like this hotel room in environments that are regulated by the nfpa 101 life safety code see the life safety code dictates which i'm not going to go over because you know you can look it up for yourself but if there are certain fire codes that cannot be met or you know there's certain corridors certain distance to certain points certain sizes of rooms there's a bunch of different things that dictate what type of sprinkler can be used where and we see these sprinklers all the time so how do they work what's going on well there are several types of sprinklers which the heads look very similar there are dry chemical sprinklers, which you will see in restaurants. There are wet systems and there are dry systems. Now, wet systems are exactly what they sound like. There is water in the pipe. And what happens is this little rod right here expands with temperature. You can see there is a fluid like substance inside the glass rod and this part right here is a spring loaded plunger and the glass rod is pushing the plunger in and when the glass rod explodes or cracks due to heat and expansion the plunger pops out and the water comes straight out hits this guy right here which is actually a ref it's a deflector so the water comes out, hits the deflector, and these little veins right here spray it in odd directions. And that gives you your dispersion pattern. So you have this guy right here, which basically says, don't shoot it towards the top. It, it guides it so it doesn't go necessarily towards the top, but the water fans out and it covers the room. Now there are regulations about what you can stack near sprinkler heads and etc., but that is your traditional wet sprinkler system. Now there are also dry sp sprinkler systems, which mean that there is nothing but air in the pipe. And when you crack this guy open and it sets it off, then all of them pop and water rushes in. So it was compressed air that's in the pipe and then it pops and now water comes out. And that usually leads to a cleaner system i believe uh dry systems are found in i don't know probably some more modern systems but usually the older buildings they're wet sprinklers um so that means that there's water currently in the pipe and that means it can also be rusty so if those pop this will all be covered in rusty disgusting water and that means everything that you have, like my camera and whatnot, it would also be covered with a rusty substance. And while it does preserve life and the facility, sort of, it destroys absolutely everything because the contaminated water, it's, it's nasty. But you can see here in my hotel room, they have notices next to every sprinkler head so that people don't hang their hangers on there. And the reason they have that is because if a hanger hangs on this guy and it breaks this little rod it will cause flooding because there is nothing that will shut that off it will continue to run 
until the fire marshal comes here and verifies that there is no fire. This will continue to run until somebody goes probably to the stairwell and cranks shut the water supply. And the only person I believe that can do that is probably the fire marshal. So do not damage these in any way. I do believe they are serial number and or date coded. And they're supposed to be tested. And I don't know the specifics of that because those specifics obviously change based on what version of the NFPA 101 that you currently fall under. And really, it's just an amazing, simple little device. I just wanted to make this quick little video to show you guys a little bit about a little thing that most people pay no attention to. So anyway, guys, it's just another one of those things. I'm sitting here in my hotel room. I'm in Pennsylvania. And I was looking up and I noticed this pipe. And the reason that they have this pipe in this room is because when this hotel was originally built in 1928, NFPA 101 didn't exist. But in order to continue to operate a commercial property after a certain date and time, everything needs to be compliant with modern day life safety code. That's your hospitals, that's your hotels, that's any place where people are going to be in a commercial capacity. And a hotel is one of them. So one of the ways they fixed it is they went through and they did a reno, but when they had the reno, then they had to go ahead and fit the hotel with a sprinkler system. It's just one of those things, guys. You probably didn't think too much about it, but there's a lot that goes into this. And unfortunately, like any life safety code, lives were lost in order to provide us with the rules that we currently live by today. So think about that. Do your own research on sprinklers. They're a fascinating, simple little device. And I have a very unique one here in my hotel room because, like I said, this hotel was built in 1928 and sprinklers were not a thing back then, but here they are. Thanks for watching, guys.